Nigerians across various sectors have called on President Mahmoudou Buhari to, in the next few days, left for his administration to wind up, strive to leave a legacy of functional system where there is respect for the rule of law and all actors act only in full compliance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and other acts of the National Assembly. Delegates from the 158 anti-corruption civil society and non-government organizations, faith-based groups, youths and community-based organizations who gathered in Abuja at a one-day national conference on Sunday said the anti-corruption efforts of Buhari's administration would eventually be accessed by the conduct of key officials, especially those saddled with the responsibility of taming corruption in Nigeria. The keynote speaker, Dean Faculty of Arts, Federal University of Yekiti, Yekiti State Professor Wasil Adimola Oyedokwali, the chairman of the, the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Debo Adeniro, among others, adopted a communique which specifically expressed concern that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the leadership of Abdul Rashid Bawa had become a cesspool of internal corruption among other diverse issues. The organizations faulted the Independent National Electoral Commission for not keeping strictly to the promises made to Nigerians. The organization also demanded states and other tiers of government set up a genuine machinery towards cooperating and consolidating the efforts of the federal government in tackling various security challenges presently facing Nigeria. We would be uh, satisfied because as you can see, in fact the mantra, the greatest mantra on which uh, President Muhammad Bahari came to power was the fight against corruption, which all of us keyed into. But down the line, since 2015, this has not been the case. It's an obvious thing. And that's why we keep asking uh, the federal government to ensure that it does more because if, as we said at the plenary, at the conference, if corruption is not tackled, a lot of problems, but definitely not, will still continue. And that's why we are asking for the rule of law to prevail. Because if the rule of law does not, a rule of law does not prevail, there is nobody fighting corruption anywhere. It will be a mirage. On the wrong side of our desires, we can drag them to the right side of our desires by our insistence that the principle of equality before the law must apply all the time and that everybody should subject him or herself to the letters of our letters and spirit of our constitution nobody should act as being above the law we will no longer tolerate impunity in our society it's from your church or because it's from your tribe and all that let me pick the baby. You get agriculture, I mean, everybody says, if you're hungry, you're hungry. What you're going to eat to stop hunger may vary from state to state or from individual to individual. But once you put it in your stomach, we must have those things. There must be education. We must put it in there. And like I say, the best project for you to fix education, you can't have the money and go and put it in London. 